G'day viewers, how you doing? This time we're going to have a look at setting up the TSCX train simulation controller with Train Simulator Classic. And this is just be a quick tutorial. Now it's much easier than Train Sim World, I've got to say. So I'm running the TS Classic railed over and joystick interface, and I'm running the 64-bit version because that's how I run TSC. In fact, I don't think you can run TSC in 32-bit anymore. Now, it automatically found the Sim Workshop device all by itself, and it did a couple of other things. Um, it wanted to know where Railworks was, and when it started up, it said I couldn't find it, and I had to tell it where it was. So I had to browse to it. See Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks. That's where it was. I had to choose the Railworks Exe to make it do that. So um, actually, we might as well just do this again. So we'll, we'll clean it up. So it will be... Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks. Uh, it's not called Railworks anymore. And here is a train simulator. Railworks. It is called Railworks. Twit. <laughs> and I have to have to choose the uh, the actual exit. Railworks sixty four. There we go. Open that, and it now knows where it is. The next thing it did was it wanted to extract all of my locomotive information. So it did this by itself. It just said, I'm going to do this. And it took it about 25 minutes. So I'm not going to do it again. But let's just extract a single folder. Um, let's go into, I don't know, Barn Z, whatever that is, BNSF Chicago, and say, extract that. And yes, I'll overwrite that. So it extracts the AP files. You can see what it's doing here. It goes through and it uh, finds all of the locomotives, basically. Finds all the engine scripts. Sets those up and processes them. And the extraction's complete. Now, for the whole thing, it took me about, I think, 23 minutes or something like that. And it's already got these set up. So it's got the reverses set up on Z. Uh, which is which? So X is throttle and brake, and throttle are both set the same. Train brake is on Y, and it's got reverser on Z, which is good for steam engines. Interestingly, it doesn't use this one as a reverser. So I thought about using this one as a reverser in Train Sim World when I saw this, and I even did a configuration with it, and I thought, mm, didn't like that so much. So it does those things by itself. If you want to change them, you certainly can. So you can go lever map, and you can edit the lever map, and you can change them to whatever you want. It needs to find it. So you have to go and pick it up from the folder that it's in, which would be portable, TS Classic. And there should be, is it in there, I think? But it's, it's got all these individual ones that it's done for everything, so it'll find lever map files, but we won't worry about those too much. And key maps, button map, we can edit the button map, and I'm going to say edit the default one. If you want to change what they are, you can. So um, I've left these as they are for the moment. Um, I will probably change them. But let's say activate cab camera. It's put that on button one. Let's say you didn't want that. Let's say maybe you wanted that to be, I don't know, button two. Delete that. So that'll be that'll now put that one on uh, activate cab camera. And you might decide that, uh, so it, on the bell, it's got it on the bottom of the horn, which is fair enough. But let's say you want it to be the bell button which is the one we did for Transim World. So we might go assign a button to that and go bell. There we go. And it's got that on doors open open and close. So that's fine. And we could just go through and keep doing those. So we might go and do doors open left. And we'll say that's this one. And doors open right. We'll say that's this one. Interestingly, I didn't actually know you could open the doors independently in Transim Classic. I've never tried it before. So, uh, hmm, yeah, there you go. So we'll just save those and start callback so it talks to the game. And we will just get rid of that so we can see Train Sim Classic. And we will pick a train to drive. And preferably we'll drive one during the day. 
I was worried that it was opening it on the other monitor then for a moment. So let's just pick something. Let's pick something relatively simple. That's got a power and brake controller, so we won't do that one. We want something that's got the two levers. Oh, Feather River Canyon. You'll do the job. And is this daytime? 7 p.m. That could be dark. Highline local. 8 o'clock in the morning. That'll be light. Okay, let's just get into this one. And let's see if this uh, does its thing. So this isn't much of a tutorial because mostly it just does what does it by itself and it sets itself up, So which is cool. The uh, Transim Classic side of this controller is a little more polished. Yep, we don't care about that. We just want to know if this works. So it's got the reverser uh, on this lever. So yeah, that's working. So we could reset that to be the switch, I suppose, the same one we did with Transim World. So it's in forward uh, headlights. I don't think I change. <laughs> Look. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We hadn't actually changed that in the mapping. Uh, horn? Is that still on the horn? Yep. And it doesn't have a bell, clearly. We can press the bell button and see. It does have a bell. There you go. Okay, and we can release the brakes and we can apply the brakes. Now this does have a brake script, which I've always found a bit annoying when I was using it with Rail Driver, but it seems to cope okay with it. So let's release the brakes and let's throttle up. Actually, that was on notch 8, so that's on idle. So we might actually want to change that to be the other way around, I think. So let's just stop call back, and I'll just bring that back up again. And throttle and brake. Weirdly, we might want that to be the other way around. Isn't that interesting? So let's uh, not reverse that and say OK. Yes. And start call back, and let's get rid of that now. Oh, did I not have it on? I didn't have it on, did I? Okay, let's do what I just did again. So I right click that. Did I? Oh, stop callback. Right. Right click that. Not edit lever names, you twit. Assign levers. And I unticked the reverse from here. So it was already ticked reverse and I unticked it. I better untick it for throttle as well and say OK. Yes. And start callback. And hopefully, if we get rid of that, we will now... Yeah, so that's idle. One, two, three... Yeah, that's what we want to have. And... Brakes. Yeah, that's what we want to have. There you go. So, it works. And of course, you can map the buttons to anything you want. And go for your life. Have fun. What a great horn, Dot. Alrighty. If you've got any questions on how to set it up for Train Sim Classic, chuck them down below. It does work out most of it by itself. I had to point it at my Train Sim Classic installation because I couldn't actually find it. But um, once I pointed it at it, it just went and extracted everything all by itself and it just went off and did its thing. So, hmm, good stuff. Anyway, if you've got any questions, chuck them down below. Usual deal, like and subscribe and that sort of fun stuff. And I hope you enjoy the Train Sim X controller. I assume we're going to the right, otherwise we're going to be in a bit of trouble. There we go. All nicely running. Alright, thanks very much for watching, and like I said, questions, chuck them down below, and we'll leave it at that for now. See you later. Bye.